Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's time to head out to the zoo, and Kaylee's going to take us. Kaylee? So we lost out on the 2020 Olympic Games, mm -hmm. but we didn't lose out on the 2020 Zoo Olympic Games. This week is National Zookeeper Week, and here in Springfield at the Dickerson Park Zoo, they're celebrating in style. For diving, the star is Mrs. Pat McCormick. This is the third annual Zookeeper Olympics. Or should we say, turd annual? We just wanted to create something fun to showcase the different spots that the zookeepers do, the different aspects of the job. Um, it's not just scoop and poop, it's not just playing with the animals, but it's a lot of hard work. Six teams compete in a series of events, and only the strongest survive. First event, we had the elephant turd toss. That's archery with 10 targets to knock down using a ball of poop. In the second one, we had ultimate zookeeper. That's shot put and the 100 meter sprint which includes spinning, running, and tossing eggs unbroken into a designated area. And then the third event was Hay Keeper. That's weightlifting, sprinting, and aquatics. As teams race to carry three hay bales across the lawn, fill a giant tub with water, and stack everything in a pyramid. Our bales are about 80 to 100 pounds of bale. The final event includes the top two teams scarfing down Hertz donuts with the fastest chompers taking home the gold. Upon further inspection, the highest rated games are... The eating competition. I think mine's going to be the turd toss. I'm pretty good at throwing <laughs> stuff. The spirit of the games lives on, but it's their daily job that gets tens across the board. It's just fun spending time being able to train with them, learn the behaviors, learn their own personalities. Everyone has a different one, just like people. They're kind of just like little kids just running around everywhere. They all have their own personality and their own quirks, and they just are so fun to watch and be with. It doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees, it doesn't matter if it's 10 degrees, we're out here, we're doing our job. Uh, of course, these guys are well, we do really appreciate all the zookeepers around in our area and beyond, and this week is a good week to highlight them. So the games lasted about an hour with those four events, uh, and some zoo patron patrons even watched from a distance. Weston, who um, co-created this year's Zoo Olympics, says that uh, the games showcase the physical aspect of zookeeping, but not necessarily uh, highlighting the mental aspect of the, jo of the job. For example, problem solving, understanding each animal and their preferences, their, their uh, method of care, and all of that stuff. So uh, not all of the mental side was showcased, but mm -hmm. uh, lots of the physical. Oh. You know what? I love me some food fights, but I would not have wanted to participate nope. in this one. Yeah. But as zookeepers, I bet they see that in a lot more. So. Oh, I totally do. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, they ran out of poop to throw, <laughs> so they had to end up use, using wiffle balls to knock down the pins. Tell them next year they can come and uh, the, the dogs that we have. <laughs> I've even. never, dogs have never, yeah. We've got I can't even, here. okay. Uh, coming up next, we're going to be guessing some celebrity. I, look how I try to change the subject. Yeah, change the subject. Celebrity yeah. birthdays is coming up next. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. You guys didn't want to talk about poop? No, Kaylee. Elephant poop? Can we just not? 